this lecture I wanted to focus on a specific part of the main KiCad window, the KiCad project manager, and that is under preferences and configure paths. So this window gives you access to the paths that KiCad and its various individual apps will be searching for various types of files. And the three main types of files that KickArt works with and that are essential for its operation are the symbols, footprints, and the 3D models. Actually, I'll take that back. The symbols and footprints are the most important. KickArt can live without 3D models, but it is something that makes your PCBs essentially come to life. And therefore, we do like to have 3D models easily accessible and um, lots of 3D models of various uh, footprints also available here for KickArt to be able to create those beautiful 3D renders of your PCBs. Another type of file that KickArt wants to have access to are the templates. You can see down the bottom, there are two different directories uh, that point to templates. And I've got a lecture later on about templates and how to start a new KickUp project using a template instead of starting a KickUp project from scratch. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KickUp course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KickUp from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. Now, this is where you can set your, your paths for each one of those directories. When you install KickUt, then KickUt will make its own default selections here, but I found that in my case, it is preferable to alter those defaults for the reason that these directories end up with taking up a lot of disk space. For example, just the 3D models directory may take up several gigabytes of space. So if you're working off a SSD uh, and a laptop, for example, with limited capacity, you may want to have all those files uh, moved to a larger external USB spinning disk drive. So that really depends on how you have set up your computer. But I'm going to show you what I have done. So for example, let's have a look at my setup here. I'll start with the library directory. So you can see that my KiCad uh, underscore 3D model underscore DIR directory environment variable is pointing to this location right here. So this is pointing to an external disk. It's a RAID disk with lots of capacity. And in it, I have created the KiCad's projects and then library and under that KiCad directory, which is right here. And that's where I keep all my 3D models. And that is a fairly large uh, chunk of the disk at 5.5 gigabytes. And normally this would be sitting in an area of your computer's built-in drive. And again, as I said, this is probably not what you want if you have a limited capacity internal disk. So this is something that I had to go and manually change here to the external location. And I've done the same thing with the rest of the libraries. So my symbols directory is right here. Library, you can see it in the path. Uh, it looks like this inside, lots of KiCad underscore sim files. And this, at the time I'm recording this, is about 100 megabytes. Not as big as the 3D symbols, but still it's sizable. And finally, for the footprints, you can see the footprint directory is pointing to KiCad modules. And that is this directory right here with lots of uh, dot pretty directories, each of which contains an underscore mod file, which is the footprint. And the size of this at the time I'm recording is 86 megabytes. Again, not huge compared to the 3D models, but still takes a bit of space. There's also one more directory here that contains the templates. And it looks like this, uh, that I have redirected also to the external RAID drive. I've also got a custom user templates directory where I am placing the templates that I have created myself. I've got a separate lecture in the recipes section where I'll show you how to do that. And I have placed that 
in my documents directory, which is the directory where I keep all of my projects. And that actually is on my disk so that it makes it easier for me to do things such as backup and index. So it goes on my computer's built-in SSD drive and it looks like this inside. I've been talk about these individual files that make up this template as I said, in a dedicated lecture in the recipes section of this course. You'll find that at the end of this course. Okay, so that gives you some information now on what these environment variables are, which point to the, the specific paths that you can edit and change from the original defaults to locations on your internal or external disks that are more convenient and more appropriate for your setup. And I also wanted to show you how these environment variables are used from uh, by other parts of KiCad. So I'm going to hit OK temporarily and just uh, have a look at the preferences and then manage symbol libraries window as an example. And have a look at, say, in the global libraries, how the path for each one of those libraries that are listed here actually contains an environment variable. So there's one here, kickat 6 symbol dir symbol directory or project specific libraries. This is another environment variable that depends on the project that you're working on. You don't set up this variable anywhere, but kickat will generate this variable automatically when you open up a new project. So you can see that in this case, I've got libraries that are stored inside the project directory that I'm working on, which I believe is the MCU data logger. And in here, you'll see that I've got a, uh, a libraries directory in which I have stored files that contain things such as footprints and um, symbols and even 3D shapes for those uh, symbols that are specifically used by my current project and I'm not sharing with other projects. So I place this libraries directory in the project directory and the project directory is accessible via this environment variable. So something similar you'll find under preferences and footprint libraries. Again, in this case, you've got gigat6 underscore footprint directory, which is a path that has been configured in the configured paths window um, right here. So I've taken these snapshots a bit earlier just to have everything side by side. So here's my configure paths window with a listing of all the environment variables that you have access to and you can control. And this is what these look like, for example, in the footprints libraries tab. Here is the environment variable in here that is automatically generated. This is the same footprints libraries, but now global libraries, which is using the kickat 6 footprint directory environment variable, which looks like this. And also down the bottom of the path substitutions, you'll see references to the 3D model directory in the footprint directory and so on. So I'm going to leave it at this. It's just one just wanted to show you here how you can change the default paths that KiCad creates when it's installed to others that are more appropriate for your circumstances and for the setup of your computer. Okay, so now let's continue with the next couple of lectures where I'll show you how to create new projects. And the next lecture I show you how to do so how to create a new project from scratch and then in the next lecture after that i'll show you how to create a new project from a template that really speeds up the process